What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, DC Cool, back in another video. Today's topic is Yu Yu Hakusho, the live action Netflix adaptation. Yes, I know those are horrible words to be spoken out loud. Netflix live action adaptation. And now I'm about to butcher another one. I know everybody's talking about the success and the hype of One Piece. It can be done. It was done. I get it. That is. I think the One Piece one was pretty good. Like, we went over that in the review. And the Bleach one was actually very good too. Um, Hironi Kenshin has also been very good. Um, those are the only three I know that actually been good. But we're batting three out of like a thousand. So it's not a good percentage here. You know, not a good record. Um, I'll be honest with you. My thoughts on the trailer of Yu Haka Show, I think this looks terrible. I'll be honest with you. I know people are excited. I know people are happy for it. I, thought, I know a lot of people are like, oh, this looks pretty good. I think it looks bad. I think the casting sucks. The kid playing Yusuke himself, he looks okay. The dude playing he, he looks kind of ridiculous. The, court, the dude playing Corbal looks terrible. I mean, his, his hair, they, his not even close to being right. Corbal has like this, you know, orange, reddish hair. Um, like, um, kind of like how the... Uh, I forget the character's name from uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. How his hair is kind of kind of like, um, and this dude got a bootleg high top fade with some blonde in in black. It's not even close to trying to. It's not even close to try like it's supposed to look like. It's just not good. Uh, the dude looks scrawny. He looks like a small dude. Cool boy's kind of you know, well built uh, high school kid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, Karama, he might be okay. He looks okay, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure if it's his hair or a cheap wig. I just, I don't know. He looks okay. Karama and Yusuke look okay. The other two look ridiculous. Kurama are the worst. Um, Botan, I'm sorry, bro. She looks bad. Like, this woman is not attractive. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't say that. She's not attractive. Botan from the show is bad. She's a very attractive woman. Um, this woman, I don't know who they got. It, I mean, she's also quite short. And I'm not even short people not like that, but the character will be taller than Yusuke. This isn't even close to what the adaptation or the actual source is. You couldn't find a taller actress who would look more like her, who's more attractive? Because this is... <laughs> I don't know what this is, but this ain't it. So, I, I mean, I know a lot of people get mad by that, but I'm just telling you the honest truth of what I see and what I think. Botan, I mean, a lot of Japanese female characters in general in their shows are attractive women. They're not ugly or average. They're just not, you know. So, and that's perfectly fine. I, I like that. that has, I have no issue with that. You know, always someone sex in these shows. You know, fan service is a terminology for a reason. Um, they ended up the Botan character. I'm just saying that they've always been, uh, that's always been a thing in anime. A lot with, a lot, a lot with, you know, a lot with the ladies. Um, but yeah, it, it didn't look good to me. I'm sorry. I mean, the special effects, some look okay, like that Rose Whip thing he was doing, that Rose combination thing Crown was doing. That looked kind of cool from the trailer. Um, the explosion he got with looked fake as hell. That looked terrible. The spear gun at the end of the trailer looked terrible. That didn't look good. Um, I mean, the CGI look like it's going to be rough. And one of the biggest mistakes this show has done that a lot of people are not talking about is that they have it in Japanese. It's actual Japanese actors who speak Japanese. Like these are, It's actually made from Japan. And that was a huge mistake. Not because of everything against the Japanese. Obviously, I love their work. You know. But because it's going to alienate the audience. Part of the reason why One Piece was so successful in so many countries is because they spoke English. It was English cast. You know, or people who were from other descents who spoke English. Like, you know, the kid who plays Luffy. He actually is Mexican. Um, but he speaks English and Spanish, you know. Let me give you an example. My dad saw that One Piece on Netflix, that live action. He liked it. He, liked, he thought it was funny. He thought it was cool. He enjoyed it. He has no idea what one piece is in the anime. He has no idea it's an anime. But he liked the show. But I know my father. He's from a different generation. He's an older dude. If that was in Japanese and he had to read subtitles, he would have turned it off. He would never give it a chance. So, this being in Japanese, most people who would have given it a chance are not going to give it a chance. Not only the hardcore fans who actually know the show are going to watch it. So, you really messed up. What this could have been success wise, if it is good, because I'm hoping it is, I'd love to be wrong, because I love you, Haka Show. But they made a mistake. I mean, I, I just, I think it's going to flop. I think it's not going to be good, y'all. I'm sorry. I think it's going to be good. Then, story wise, I'm scared for the liberties. I think it's about to be a mess. 
you got Bui, one of the characters who don't come through late in the dark tournament that he faces, wears all the armor in the trailer. You got Togoro, you know, the Togoro brothers in the trailer, who don't come to later. You know, this should have been the same beast. This should have been getting the first mission when he went against the, uh, when he first met Hiei and Karama, all that kind of stuff. Like, all that stuff should be at the beginning. Like, season one should have been maybe leading up to the Dark Tournament or something. We should not even be in that trailer. Now, if you want to end with the Togoro Bros, something like that, where they think they beat him and stuff and they faked their death or whatever like they did in the show, and that's where it ends, where a cliffhanger for season two or something like that. Okay, cool, that makes sense, but I think the story about to be a debacle too. I'm, like, I don't trust this at all. I think it'll be bad, y'all. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm hopefully I'm wrong. December 14th. It's going to be here before we know it. I would love to be wrong, but if it's bad and it's trash, y'all heard it from me first. Y'all heard it from me first. So tell me what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe. Till the next video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.